My name is Joel Longstreth. We're here in front of a Kroger to show you just how commonplace our products are and how our plastic has probably touched your lives more than once in any given day. What we're really good at is matching the resin to the end use, pairings if you want to call it that. In other words, the resins that you would use for some products are not the same resins you'd use for other products. Starting with something pretty basic, very bread and potatoes items. Bread and potatoes both have to be clear, they have to be printable, they have to be FDA approved, kosher approved, but the difference between these two is a lot. If you try and put potatoes into a bread bag, the potatoes are gonna go all over the place. The same resins will not work for IQF or quick frozen foods, such as this frozen chicken. We make this little strip that goes onto the zipper here. We also make this frozen food. This has to be also FDA, kosher, and, F and CFIA approved. It has to seal in a pretty tough environment with no odor and taste transfer and stand up to some pretty cold temperatures. Ice bags. They have to be strong. They have to have zero odor and taste transfer. You can't just use bread bag resin for ice. Next thing we're pretty good at is film for what's called form, fill, and seal. These are examples of product which has been packaged by what's called the vertical form, fill, seal, or VFFS for short. These both start out life as a sheet, which is formed into a tube, which is sealed here on the back seam, if you can see that. At the bottom, product is dropped in, and the next cycle begins all over. Form, fill, seal in a vertical direction. The same properties you're looking for in a vertical form, fill, seal, sealant layer apply to a stand-up pouch. The stand-up pouch needs to have a good inner sealant layer for a couple reasons. It needs to make a good seal here at the bottom and it also has to seal to this zipper which could be made from any number of different resins which are not usually consistent. This is an example of USPS postal approved mail wrap. There's a lot more to this than meets the eye. The film has to be slick enough that it will work on what's called a horizontal form, fill, and seal machine, yet tacky enough that you can stack a lot of these up. It also needs to have a lot of anti-stat, just the right amount, but not enough to make the film greasy. We're one of a few people who are truly USPS postal approved. We make a lot of film which is converted into bags for night deposits, cash transfer, evidence bags, and for loose coin packaging. This is a tamper evident bag. Each bag you see has its own individual number. These are used by the Federal Reserve and other banks for moving cash around or coins. This bag has to handle 50 pounds of loose coin with six to eight drops. Not something everybody can do. That's our short course on polyethylene films. We hope you appreciate at this point that there is no such thing as regular poly. We're really good at matchmaking, pairing up the right resin to the right application. We'd love to talk to you. We enjoy new challenges and unique projects. Please give us a call, 800-466-1135.